Hello and welcome to season two, episode two of D&D with high school students. I am Bill Allen, the humble teacher and mm -hmm. not at all egotistical <laughs> dungeon master. Um, I sound with the YouTube comments. Too. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> we're here despite overcoming numerous challenges with scheduling. We're here, we're, we're going to do episode two and it's gonna be fantastic. Now, let's summarize where we left off. You guys uh, had run into a, a elf, a male elf with long blonde hair um, who approached you about potentially doing a job. Yes. And uh, you, you indicated that you would meet him later that evening. And, um, and then when he left, you noticed these two men who you were a bit suspicious of, these two men that had um, gotten up and followed him. You guys tailed them out to the street, pushed your way through the throngs of people who were in town for the, the wine festival, and uh, you got into a little bit of a, a combat, as it were. A couple people died. Performance. <laughs> um, Carl, you do have an inspiration die. I do. Because I you came is. up with a genius level plan to cover up the murder hobo activity <laughs> that you and your group were committing. I have a question. Everyone keeps saying murder hobo. I yeah. don't know what that is. Okay, so it's a term that came up, I don't know, I mean, relatively recently, I guess, in the long history of D&D. But essentially, murder hobos, the idea is like basically a group of people playing D&D who just like kill everything. Like it's kind of like kill <laughs> oh. first, ask questions later. Or awesome. like, yeah. I see that's, a thing. Does it have mm. treasure? Yes, kill it. Does it not have treasure? No, it does not have treasure. Kill, Kill it, it anyway. <laughs> <Okay>. Like <laughs> that's the murder hobo concept. That's relatable. Yeah. So yeah. you guys kind of started off a little hoboey, but you know what? Good cover up. Thank you. So it was planned. The law, the, the, the militia was not called in. You guys kind of got away with it. Where we left off was, you guys had kind of pulled the bodies off into an alley. These are bodies. And um, oh my God. and Carl was you know we still up on the roof way. blowing his yeah. on his you know we his flute, even though no one bags. was really listening. Um, yeah, now, God was. we're, we're going to resume right where we left off. So you guys, the last thing before you pulled the bodies off was you saw the blonde elf kind of looking at what had happened and how, you know, he seemed to be like smiling and nodding before he went um, into his inn. So you guys are in an alley behind the rusty flagon and you have these two humans with shaved heads and gray robes who are now dead. What do you do? Search him for Carl, one. you're not there. You're still on the roof. <laughs> Everybody else, though, is there. <laughs> Sean. I mean, Eat them. I like the suspicious <laughs> guy. I feel like we should go follow the suspicious guy. Well, remember, you, you made an appointment after Carl's performance tonight to go meet with him. So Was yeah. that the performance, or is there another no. one? No, I happened. have a concert tonight. No, wait, no, he, he still has to go. Yeah. He has to meet up with the... With yes. Derek. Derek, the golden throat. Mm -hmm. That's yes. right. Can we split up, or can we not split up? You That's can. That's not a good... That never ends well, Sean. Yeah. Look Sean, I will tell you that Heather's sentiment is right and shared by most gamers. You okay. could split the party. You could. But sometimes that is not good. And also just meta, sort of. Like, it kind of makes half the group have to sit there like this waiting and then until it's their turn. Okay, so, fair enough. Sean, what the yeah. heck? Yeah, okay, You're sorry. Really, okay, so you guys, the YouTube comments are gonna destroy all of you guys us. except Carl are in an alley behind the rusty flagon with two bodies. It's not like this is empty. I mean, there's nobody in the alley right now, but you know, on, on the major streets and thoroughfares, there are people. So just know that kind of time is of the essence. What do you do? Anna, Pay attention last there. session you mentioned you wanted to search their bodies. Yeah, I still want to search them. Okay, well, what do you do? Search them, yeah. Okay, so you start feeling around and you notice that these guys have no weapons, number one. No weapons. Magic. Number two. Monks. Other than a loincloth, they have nothing under their gray robes. Gross. They have no items. They have no belt pouches with coins. They have no backpacks. They have no weapons. Why do we kill them? They have <laughs> sandals on their feet. Sandals and a gray robe, and they're wearing a loincloth. They're literally empty. So, like, how close are we to the sea? You're a bit of a walk to the harbor. Okay. We're not like, dumping the we're bodies. Not. The harbor. <laughs> we're joining time, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> the harbor is not even in town proper. Okay. Like, you would have to kind of leave leave town. And it's you know probably a uh, half an hour walk to to the harbor. Yeah. Bury it. Do we have shovels? No. Can we just leave them? Heather, 
you, you're thinking about burying it yeah. as you look at the cobblestone ground and realize that you don't <laughs> wow. have a shovel, but... There's no dirt anywhere. I'm not going to have you roll perception, but you do notice <laughs> something interesting. Pile of dirt you see a sewer grate. Ha ha! Oh, okay. Crocodiles yeah, put them down the sewer. We Let's gotta. just dump them. Let's watch out. Dump Crocodiles them. will cover the Wait, is this going to be an empty later, mm. like with the police? Probably, but well. that's... Why are the police in the sewers? That's anyway? life. Yeah, right? <laughs> all yeah. Am I right? We've all, we've all been there. Yeah, cool. Uh, Roll to get dump. rid of the bodies. <laughs> Just open the grate and put them in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Who has the sewer. strength to lift off the metal grate? That's me. Okay. Okay. What's your strength? Uh, nineteen. Oh, don't even bother rolling. You're just like, <laughs> and you lift it up. <laughs> okay. So you set this old rusty metal grate aside, and you see that there's a. Just tube down into darkness of some sewer. I like it. Fantastic. I love just tubes. Drop them and leave? Yeah. Okay. Just drop them and leave. <laughs> okay. So you kind of pick the body up, slide it in. The first one goes down, and you're like, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, splash. Oh. So it, it took a few seconds. So you're figuring it's pretty deep. Wait, um, it's deep. Dump the second one down, same thing, splash. Sewer's not connected to the water system of the town, is it? Like, like drinking water? Yeah. Ew. Anna, do you not understand basic? Like, no, you know I don't know. They you like know I never know anything. Sewers about my life. are where all the pee pee and poo poo go. We're going to art school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're art students. Yeah. Like, you didn't just you you did not just dump two bodies into the fresh water supply. Okay, just checking. There. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay. God. So, so like, um, Max, can you put like the dumped great? Yeah, let's put the I'll put the grate back. Okay, good. I was hoping that somebody would forget that and then lead to hey, what are police you guys doing? intervention. Uh, but what's going you on? You guys remember there? to put the grate back on. <laughs> just get rid of the bodies, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what is that? All right. So you guys, you guys, uh, oh, yeah, clean up the mess, here. so to speak. <laughs> you put the grate back on the sewer. Just about that time, um, you hear a happy flute sound. Kind of around the front end <laughs> of, could that be? of the building, <laughs> and it sounds like similar to the flute. That um, that rail off plays. So, but similar. It, it's probably. But it isn't. <laughs> I don't know though. <laughs> let's go, let's go oh, check. Let's go. 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 Reunited. Reunited. Yeah. Okay. End of adventure. Bye. What happened? What happened? What are you guys? What were you guys just doing? Nothing. Uh, business. Okay. <laughs> now, Carl, you you vividly remember that there was a fight happening. Oh yeah, we and you don't that. see any of the gray robe guys, oh, yeah. and they're like nothing. Nothing happened. Yeah. What do you guys do with the bodies? They I don't know what you're left. talking about. Yeah, they're gone. They walked up. It was a performance. They went home. Okay. <laughs> They're fine. I believe it. They're my friends. I trust them. Okay. All right. So you, you need a proper burial, though, right? You have about an Fact. hour. <laughs> yeah, you, they're, they're, yeah, Maximilian's like, correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Indeed. Um, you figure out you have about an hour if you wanted to like clean up before the Somehow. banquet, before you meet up with Derek the Golden Throat. Um, so you could go back and. Um, Get drunk? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could get a room at the Rusty Flagon. Oh. We can get a room at, at the Hardy the Inn. Oak. Yep. Where the guy is at. The you you really want to talk to him. We already have a meeting planned. Well, I'm just saying. We can get or if anybody needs perfect. to go shopping, I mean, there's, there's carts around, nope. there's different stores, there's a blacksmith, there's. Let's go. A lot of things. To the blacksmith, like in Skyrim. That'd be oh, fun, okay. right? Okay. I don't sure. know. That don't fun. we all have weapons, though? Yes, but. Do you? Let's get more weapons. Yes. That could be fun. I have yes. money. Yeah, have I weapons. made like twelve cents for my show. So yeah, okay. I got my money back from the elf. So you got your money back from that small boy. Yeah. The two-year-old. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm Let's. Told, we're gonna go there I'm and see what the blacksmith says. Oh, yeah. He's ri why doesn't right. he buy his stuff? I don't he's rich. Buy stuff now. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. You make your way down the block, and that big brick building over there is the blacksmith. You go over. The blacksmith's shop is. 35 degrees hotter than the outside air, so which so is sweaty. already pretty warm. So it's it's just sweltering hot in there. And you see a pretty sturdy, strong looking guy oh, yeah. wearing a big <laughs> leather apron and leather gloves. And he's like drinking a cup of water. And he looks over and he's like, good day to you. What can I do for you? 
Carl, this is your oh, I get to speak. <laughs> Hello. Carl, you're in charge of everything. Hello, um, kind sir. Would you? He's like a dwarf, to... by the way. He's a. Oh. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> kind <laughs> sir. Uh, we just we're browsing, just browsing, just looking around. Ah, well, I've just finished a whole lot. Are you looking for anything in particular? I've got some tools along that wall on those shelves. I've got a whole collection of different kinds of uh, and sizes of horseshoes. Horseshoes are lucky, aren't they? Is that, am I wrong about no. that? Can we get horses? What's a, that's a rabbit's Are you shopping gotcha. Never mind. Let's get a horse. Well, come take a look. So he walks over there. You see there's equestrian. 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 all sorts of different like hammers, picks, different kinds of picks. woodworking tools, saws. You like that stuff. Um, yeah. Can I use all, a saw as a weapon? Hmm. There's also cooking Thing. utensils. Could you use a saw as a weapon? You, I mean, <laughs> you could. That, that's really horrific. How much are your saws? <laughs> well, uh, okay. I've got this this hand saw. It's uh, rightly finished. I could part with it for uh, five silver pieces. Do I have any money? Like, <laughs> on your sheet. Do you have any coins? No. I think you spent all your money. I, I don't even have it. I already oh. get any money everything. to start with. $15. Oh. Sorry, Sean. Money? Rip. All right. Well, see, we, we, this I is a great tutorial gold. learning yeah. moment. So when yeah, you pick like your time. background, so that's like you can choose from your background. You can choose what is your background? Bill. Uh, carpenter. Oh, guild. Someone artisan. told me I was missing something in the YouTube comments. Yeah, I don't know what you're missing. A hard. You have 15 gold, Sean. 15 yeah. GP. Can obsess over it later. I'm missing something. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Proper oh, sense for no. your. <laughs> Five silver. Perfect. So it's ten <laughs> silver to one gold. So it's so yeah. four silver. Make a persuasion roll, Sean. He's it says that I should have four spells. If you have the proficiency persuasion, you roll d twenty plus three. Yeah. Okay. Does this make sense? I don't know. What hey, look saying. at that. Nineteen. He's like, don't do it. You seem like a handy fellow. And they said that I should have four spells. I can part with it for four silver. So Schwing. you give him a gold. He gives you six Schwing. silver and change. So 14 gold. Yes. Now you have a nice new Can saw. How much are your pickaxes? I don't know if it's right. What do you it'll, it'll come in late. Like, it'll come in handy. Right. Bill, someone said I should have four spells, and you should check uh, page 66 for reference. That's great. It's fantastic. <laughs> that I want my spells. It's fantastic that I've played D&D for 39 years. and. They didn't nobody, say you were wrong. They just said you should check. Uh -huh. They were just saying, they were like, hey, like you should check. Like yes. I don't know if it's right. Like you have more spells. YouTube's you get right. two slots. Right, so what what did you pick? Thorn whip and something? Uh, no, scimitar and dart. God damn it, those are <laughs> weapons, Heather. Spells. Oh, spells. what are my spells? spells? I don't know. Spell. On the right you side. You don't have any You've been a druid twice now. Yeah, this Come is on. a lot. I don't know how this works. This Herbless? No, no also, you on the right side. You three don't sky. have any. I don't have any. Yeah. Oh, they're on the back. They're on the back, I think. Oh my god, you're so right. Oh, I have good berry and healing word. See? And you've got the cantrips. Oh, and cantrips. What cantrips? Thorn whip and guidance. Okay. Is that fine? Am yeah. I good? So what they mean is, like, druids, like, you have access to all those spells. So you can oh. change, like, every day. Instead of good berry oh. and healing word, you could be like, I'm going to have shillelagh and thorn whip today. Or, uh, whom? I forgot what the oh, okay. are. But you know what I mean? So I thought I was getting gypped. That's all they mean. You're not getting gypped. Okay. You just chose to have some spells. And you could change those spells next day if you want. Cool. That's the nice wow. thing about being a druid. D&D yeah. &D is kind of just, like, you can shoot whatever you want. Well, sort of. Um, pickaxe. Is that what you asked for? A pickaxe? Yes. <laughs> um, I should sell my Snapchat. He has a Roll hand axe Snapchat. that he can sell you for five gold <laughs> or a Snapchat war pick for five gold. What's a war pick? What's the difference? A war pick, pick is like a pick, like I would, a, like, I can but use not for one. mining. It's like a weapon. What's the one pick? I can use for like mining? Um, I don't know. It's somewhere in there. Boy. I know. Carl, are we planning on going mining? Maybe. Let's do it. If you don't know. Oh, miners <laughs> are you playing Minecraft gold. again? <laughs> two gold. Uh, yeah, I'd like that, please. Okay. So I'm it's gonna, all part of the plan. So I'm putting this down to 13 gold. Yeah. You can take... Here's he my reaches across and grabs you a nice, well-made, sturdy... Oh, wait. Pick. I totally could have, like, persuaded you to sell it to me for less. I'll let you retro that. Re ahead. Retro. Make a, make a roll. Well, I'm going to put make this back. Make a persuasion roll with your even know if you 20 got it charisma. Yet. Oh yeah, do I have twenty charisma? You yeah. have twenty charisma. So look up persuasion. I got five. Plus what? Five. Look up persuasion. Seven. So twelve. I, twelve. He's like, uh, no. But <laughs> he kiss. takes your gold anyway. That's fine. Um, You're gonna kiss him? 
Yeah, I'll give him a little kiss for... Anybody else want to buy anything uh, from the blacksmith? I'm going to add this to my weapons? item list. I have some some iron weapons. I don't sell bows and arrows, though. You need to go down the street to the next neighborhood over. Nah. There's a fine boyer sure. and fletcher. That's cool. You got anything stabby? I've got a lot of stabby things. I've got daggers. I've got... Stabby. Darts. I have a uh, Quite a few short swords. So uh, okay. What's up with the short swords? I have a rapier. I have two of those. Um, I have several short swords I could show you here. Uh, he starts showing you a few that are hung up along his shelf on these like wood pegs. They're all basically the same, same function. Some of them have little stylized wrappings around the scabbard. Okay, I want a cute one. Okay, you find the cutest <laughs> short sword ever. Can you seduce him? And he's willing <laughs> to it, sell it, it for it, 10 it. gold. Can I try that? 10 gold! Can everyone call me That's Goofy? That's all we have. I'm not Goofy. I'm, I'm, I'm I know very that is serious. all I have. Um, Don't do it. You're only to seduce him. Can I like intimidate him into coming down like one gold on that? You could try it. That would be fun. Go ahead. One? No, you should like. Five. Okay, well, I just want him to go down. Five silver he, pieces. I don't think I can intimidate him that much. One couple pieces. Seven Maybe eight. I can. Wait, 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 I forget. Intimidation Six. plus whatever you so roll. So 23. <laughs> Oddly enough, he's, a he's slightly guy. intimidated he by you. It might just be the pirate hat. Who knows? But it's either way, hat. he's like, I forgot you. my lady, uh, clearly, you need this short sword more than me. Mm -hmm. I could part with it for seven gold but any lower and I wouldn't be able to feed my family. Think about his family. Yeah, yeah that's family. so sad. Kids. Okay, kids, uh, seven gold it is. All right, roll to seduce. Think about the children, <laughs> Anna. He you wipes down seduce. the sword, he picks out a, a leather scabbard for it, and he hands it to you once you give him the gold. Cool, I've got three gold now. Can we kill him? Can Do you have any kerosene? Stuff? We can get <laughs> we I could sell you a vial of oil, my lord. Uh, We're supposed to be going to a, a This flask would be to one to silver. So I have five of them if you'd like to buy all five. I'll flip two. I'll buy four. Very well. He starts pulling them down. That would be four silver, sir. How about you throw in some flint? This is just like Minecraft. <laughs> We're, We're just buying things. Well, a fully things. stocked tinderbox would be five silver, so tell you what I'll do. Buy the tinderbox and two of the oils, and I'll throw in two of them for free. Deal. All right. So you pay seven silver pieces. Do I have to roll or no? No. Your roll from previously was successful. Okay. Now, if she were to try to intimidate Sorry. him again, he might resist that and, and or resent it, but persuasion is more like a friendly version of okay. intimidation. It's getting what you want without necessarily bullying someone, because Anna's a bully. Uh, All right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. cool. He he hands that stuff over. Hey, what are the stats on my short sword? It's one d six damage. So, your what's higher, your strength or dexterity? Dexterity. This okay. Guy. So, what's your dexterity bonus? One. This guy. <laughs> my man. All right. My so, man. So you have a plus one. Okay. I don't think you're 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 a warlock, aren't you? Yes. He's a pirate. So technically, I don't think you're <laughs> actually. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't think you're proficient in martial melee weapons. No, but I just figured I should. So have you just one. get you your dex know. bonus. You don't get your proficiency. Sure, bonus. So you get a plus head. one, oh and then God, your purposes. damage is also one d six plus one. You get the plus for your dex to damage because it's a finesse weapon. Okay. That means you can use dexterity instead of time. All right. So um, he's like, well, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank uh, you. have a great day at the should, festival. I, I make, sure you try the, make, make sure you try the honeysuckle wine. It's one of the finest Ooh. from the vineyards. That's the festival. next thing we're doing. Intrigued. Wait, wait, wait. Go, I think go, go, we go. should pick up some wine and then go clothes shopping for this fancy party. You're right. If I am perform, uh, well, I have costumes, but I feel like you guys kind of look I'm not as good like as I do. Like murder hobos. I already so, yeah. have. How did he know about the festival? Are we covered in blood? He uh, lives there. The whole town knows about the okay. festival. <laughs> it's, it's, that was like an insider. It's, it's like an epic. <laughs> to the I'm whole town. In blood. Oh, no, there's a guy range. that he we lives there. The festival is like a huge, huge. In case those guys were connected, the guy in the. Do they shower in D and D? Yeah. Well, uh, there, are, there aren't really showers, but you could have a you like could have a bath. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are wealthy enough to have baths, though. Um, to be quite oh, honest, no. I'd like to buy a bath. I think because 
We think we might be covered in blood. I feel like he would have said something no, if you were covered you are, in blood. No, you are covered in blood. Because remember, half of the damage you guys did was from, like, either thrown weapons oh. threw, like, or darts spells. Darts. So, like, Max maybe he is covered threw, in like, blood. Darts. Yeah, but even that, he he used a warhammer. Yeah, yeah, but he also but he picked also up the bodies and tossed them. And he was, them, like, you know? right there. Yeah. He might have a few spears. Hands, I have a second pair. I have a pair of nice clothes already, though. Go wash up. Jeez. Jeez. Can we just, like, I don't know. Yeah, I want some honeysuck wine, and then we're going to this party. So I'm, I'm going to be famous. <laughs> I'll go with you if you never call it. Let's rock again. and roll. With two C's. We leave. We, ex <laughs> we exit the blacksmith <laughs> shop. Carl, are you? Uh, <laughs> all right. So is this you, real? I'll give you the rest of my dream. So, never say so that again. on the plaza, um, just like right outside, you see this little stone cottage, oh, and there are, are like three wooden tables with bottles of wine stacked up on the tables, and a nice like um, a, a nice like tablecloth, and there's like cheese plates, and there are multiple cheese women cheese selling plates? wine and cheese and at this cottage. I love. <laughs> I love women, wine, and cheese. Let's yeah. Go. So you, you guys, you guys like, and there's other people like walking up. They're waiting in line, and they're, you know, some people will just buy like a, a glass of wine, and other people are buying like two or three bottles, and then there's people buying cheese, and people are just kind of like milling around and enjoying the the atmosphere. Let's kind of there's, front the line. There's music from like every corner <laughs> of the, the neighborhood. <laughs> Let's just kill I them play all. the flute to get people away from the line so that my buds can go get their okay, wine. Okay, roll performance. Okay. Wow, yeah. a three. <laughs> God, Carly, I suck at rolling yeah, dice. No one you start it. playing your flute and people are like, could you please stop? I'm trying to enjoy my cheese. <laughs> um, all right, so you guys wait a cheese. little bit in line and then you get yeah. up to the line. And a uh, very, very happy woman who's just running a very busy table. Cheese just, shot. She's like, what can I get for you, sirs? We've got quite an array of the different wines from the vineyards today, as well as she some fresh hot. cheese, bread, or some cold cuts. Uh, How much are your wines with cheeses or other things? My <laughs> sir, if you would like, you could buy any of these three bottles for two silver pieces each, or one of the finer premium reserve bottles for 10 gold. Yes, I will. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Are I only have two bottles. I only have 12. Of the fine one? Yeah. You don't have 20? It's 20 gold. Yeah. yeah. Two, silver, two, two silver for one of the common ones. Yeah. Or Carl, 10 gold down. for one of the fine ones. No, I'll I, take one of the common ones. No, we want. Okay. Or two of the common ones. We want two of the nice ones. I'll split the price. We can't okay. get half of these. So you, well, if she's, we like, I do, one nice she's one. like, I do have some, some, a few of the bottles that are from last year's reserve. They are a little bit cheaper, if you would be interested. It, um, they're one gold each. That sounds sketch. Oh, yep, I want one. Sounds good. I want a bottle. Okay, I want you four. get a bottle for one gold. Cool. I Let's wait till Anna drinks it, and bottles. then we drink. Okay, so, we so that's four silver pieces. You're right. just gonna let me die? That's fair. Go down You're very the eager. Scroll um, on the ring and whatever. Like you wine. could. Is she pretty? Can I try that? Yes. I was like, hey, I'm royalty, give me cheap stuff. Uh, do I get one? How's your persuasion? Make a persuasion roll. The half work with a 15 charisma. <laughs> Seventeen. So what's what your it, total? Wait, get persuasion. Uh, persuasion, uh, twenty-one. Jesus. <laughs> She's like, oh my, my lord, I'm sorry, I didn't notice. She's Big like, man, uh, my big man. guy, no She's shirt. Like, I can give you one of the fine reserve bottles for half cost. That's five gold if you didn't know. Uh, uh, enough. thanks, Carl. I'm good. Yes, please. So you give her five gold. She gives you yeah, one of the expensive. Out of math this year. Yeah. I did drop out of yeah, that's right. Uh, so does, more does this deal right apply to all of us, or do I got to do my own kind of thing to finesse her? Uh, I don't think I should well, ask her what swing. religion she follows. I don't think I can like <laughs> swing that. So, can I, I like, get slapped? Like seduce her? Carl, go for it. You have the persuasion. I do. Well, you have the persuasion to pull it off. Okay, here we so, go. So what do you say? I want to seduce her for cheaper. Fancy wine. Okay, so what do you say? This isn't a role play. Oh, sorry, I have to ask. This is real life. Am I seducing <laughs> you? Okay. Yeah. Hey there, honey. Honey line suck. Honey <laughs> What's um? She's like looking at the people behind you in line, like yes. I would love your. I'm not gonna ask. Can I just roll? No. Okay. Just say the um, line. I love getting drunk, and you're hot, so. That's <laughs> awesome, girl. Heather's like, oh my god. All right, roll. Because this is just Carl in real life. Yeah. Like, this isn't He's not game playing anymore. a character anymore. 10 plus 7, 17. She's like, hmm. 
Come on, I'm baby. So I'm, normally <laughs> not, I'm normally not into tieflings, but... Oh, I'm blue. I, get, I totally forgot. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> I get off of my shift in about an hour if you want to meet up. Oh, oh, I have a, a banquet in an hour. Invite her to the banquet. Honey, yeah, get you, I'm, I'm having a show. I'm, I'm actually just a, go. I'm a very famous musician. Um, in fact, I have a flute. Uh, you should come down and like hang out. You, come I'll down do to, to what? Check out what my show? flute. The big flute. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, the flute. Did really yeah. struck her just talk about Carl, out the you remember <laughs> that the, the banquet that you're playing? Do you remember who it's for? The oh cops. my god, the cops. <laughs> it's for the Reeve. It's like the Reeves. Basically, the like cops. the mayor. It's the mayor's banquet. It's that thing they yelled at us for not writing down. Ah, oh, shoot. We should have wrote shit down. Uh, never mind. Have a good day. I leave. <laughs> she seems sad. Oh All right, no, you walk away. Sad. Wait, wait. <laughs> I want to That was a good move. I think we. Anna's seducing her now? I'm just checking. She's probably hurt right now. One at a time. We all <laughs> try time, to boys. She's emotionally unstable. Now's your time. <laughs> Now's your time. <laughs> Now's okay, I, strike. <laughs> I go up there and say, listen, Rayloff may be an asshole, but I'll take you down to this party if you that's want. Sexy ass. Roll. What's up? Okay. What's up, ladies? What's up, boys? Oh, that sucks. I got a five. So that's a nine. Looks like I'm the She's like, one uh, in the She's like, I. I I would be honored, but I'm not. I don't have the right clothing for the the Reeves oh, shit, do I have banquet. It's it's far too fancy for a commoner like me. Plus, I've been working all day and I'm sweaty and my hair looks horrible. <laughs> That's what my wife. I'm sweaty saying. too. All right. All right. So fair join enough, the club. lady. Fair enough. All right. So she um, shoes you guys along if you don't want to buy any cheese, cold cuts, or Wait, bread. How much is bread? Um, bread? Bread is very affordable. You can get a whole loaf for two copper pieces. Sure, yeah. I want bread. Too. So if you I give her one chocolate. silver, she'll give you a hunk of cheese no, and a loaf of bread. No, I just want bread. I get back in line to do that deal. <laughs> okay. So I get some cheese Wait, and bread. So, so I've got one gold, nine silver, yes. I and eight. Did I buy something? I didn't write copper. down that I had ten copper nice pieces. Wine, what what I, buy? I had fifteen wine. copper pieces. I'll do that too. So this goes down okay. to eleven. So you guys all have some nice snacks to enjoy with your... With your um, your freshly purchased wine, yes. How many did I just buy? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two of what? <laughs> Are you talking about the bottles of wine? No, no the, he already has that. the bread and I cheese. This. All right, so Sean, <laughs> minus off two more silver, and now you have us. bread and cheese and those two bottles okay. of wine. How many bread? How many cheese? Did I just write down bread and cheese. One cheese <laughs> and two bread. I just wrote bread and cheese. <laughs> okay. I wrote real bitch and one. All right. Uh, fuck. So now you guys have all the things that you need to enjoy your wine, all except right. cold cuts because nobody bought those. I'm it would be another goal. No, sorry. <laughs> no one be either. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys have a little bit of time Vegetarian. left before uh, Carl is expected to be at the Reeves banquet. We should probably get into nice person clothes because I think we're all. He still's got blood on him. Who yeah. has nice person clothes? Oh. All right, Maximilian. No. Yeah. Do you want to just like find an alley to change into really quick? <laughs> yeah, or? I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> just wipe off the blood on the gross clothes. And All right. So you my nice man. you take your gross clothes off in the alley. You put your nice clothes on. You roll your gross clothes up and put them in your backpack. Sure. Okay. All right. Okay. Anybody else doing any kind of no, wardrobe sure. changes? Do okay. we have other clothes? Um, hey, if you guys don't want to buy clothes, have clothes. Have I have like oh. church robes, I'm pretty sure, because I'm like a religious dude. You, you, you guys do. can like put those oh, on I'll and like pretend you're like my religious entourage. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, that we would, do that. That would sort of work for Anna, but it would look silly on them. Oh, because oh. it's oh. 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 You're so young! Let's have them stand on top of each other. One on top of the other. Did you guys see that viral? That way, I'm thinking. I did see that. Oh, she looked right at the end of the Black Panther. All right. So, so the manager got mad. So, can we? You do some wardrobe change, and then what do you do? Anna, you want one of my one of my cloaks? I do. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I was like, is that a stroke? I think so. Yeah, you can have yeah, that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Are you going to wear his clerical vestments? Yes. Okay. Act clerical. You feel silly, but they. They fit you but because you you're about good. the same size. They, yeah, they look good. Yeah. Can my guild yeah. membership get me in? We were in, we're in the thieves no, guild. That is a, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> his the carpentry guild. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> I can just Excuse say I'm like, like, making a if statue. You, if you spoke to the foreman of the well, guild, he well, could probably get you in. I could like throw you two over the fence or something. 
<laughs> Don't do that. Let's do that. Okay. How's Heather okay. getting then? Toss her over the fence. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta toss me over. I can say you're so my So you go assistant. across town to find Heather Terrier or to, to your guild house, to the yeah. Carpenter's Guild? Okay. You you get there, your foreman's at the office. Okay. And he's like, hey, Willie, how are you doing? Looking for work? Uh, we don't have anything right now, Maybe but probably we'll next week. <laughs> I think we're going to close on the construction of a, a new home on the west end of town, so should have some work for you next week. What else is new? Well, I, I got a call about uh, someone who needed a statue being built at uh, some party. I was going to see if I could uh, get permission to go over there. The Reeves Banquet? Yes. Mm, let me think about that. That's a seven. Like, I don't know if I <laughs> could get you in at this short of notice. I'd, I'd like to, but, you know, security's pretty tight for the Reeves Banquet. Most of the noble families will be there. And <coughs> Five any, silver. Anyhow. <coughs> what? <laughs> mm. Bill can cheat and like lie I'll to see us what and I can do. and tell us a different number. All right, so you I'm give watching. him five, like some, five some silver DMs pieces. Some have like a thing you I'm said. watching, don't worry. Right? Yes. Are I you going to do, do that? I don't do DM screens. Okay. But that will be all be explained in a forthcoming video. I can use also, my hands. Also, we would cheat if you did. Yeah. Nobody walk. <laughs> all right, he said, so he said you DMs bribe him. And kill him. He's like, wait here. He leaves the building, goes across the street. You see him like on the front porch of this house and All he's right. like talking to someone and he like slips them some coins and then he comes back and he's like, <clears throat> you should wait by the back of the Reeves building for a man with white sleeves. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Heather, what are you going to do? Uh, can I just have Heather carry my where? backpack and say that she's my servant? Where are we? You could. <laughs> We're just that may involve a deception roll oh, down okay. the line, the but you could try. I'm good at that, I think. Okay, so um, oh, unless yeah. you guys have any objections, <laughs> we're going to move right into fast forward. <gasps> okay. Okay, <laughs> fast travel. So the like, Reeves building is a large building, and you see a line of people waiting to go in. There are constables. Um, outside who are just kind of checking people. Um, you notice that everybody going in has a uh, a piece of calligraphy, like a, a, a personal invitation on letterhead. And they're showing them to the, the constables and then the constables like usher them up the stairs and then they go into the building. I can make those. Are you really good at calligraphy? Yeah. Is that like your special oh, yeah. I did take a calligraphy class when I was nine, so. Okay, we're in the game. No, that was in the game. <laughs> Far back story. Yeah, but uh, this is still real life. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, sure. D&D is yeah, real life. On. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a life. Oh, yeah. You um, see cool. Derek, the Golden Throat, and he looks relieved when you show up. He's like, ah, my friend, I was a bit worried, I must say, that Don't you be. weren't going to uh, up? show up, but I am so glad that you made it. We're going to have a rollicking good I time. Yeah, we are. Uh, we will need to go around to the back door. Uh, that's where all of the performers and uh, servants enter, so come with me. Oh wait, I need to bring my servant, the short one, the short girl with me. I didn't give her a name because she's meaningless. She just carries my stuff. Wait, oh, I see. I need to go with you too because I'm wearing And this is also my religious friend. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm his priest. <laughs> Carl, it's time to make that deception roll now. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, why'd you have to take several gold? deception <laughs> rolls. <laughs> I just figured there's a good opportunity. So <laughs> 10 plus Deception? I don't know what that one is. Probably it's under D. <laughs> 17. Wow. All right. Derek, buy he buys it. He's like, uh, very well. Let's let's proceed then. <laughs> Come, All right, slave. Uh, I nudge Rayloff's shoulder and I'm like, if anyone asks, I took a vow of silence. She took a vow of silence. And then I, yeah. pull, I pull up my hood. She doesn't talk. Um, she cut her own tongue off to right, for right. religious well, purposes. Let's proceed. Yeah. So you guys start making your way around. <laughs> Max <laughs> Maximilian. Yes. Um, you do not have right, one of these crazy. invites, but you could try to manipulate your way in could using just your noble status. The scroll of pedigree and signet ring. Could I kind of show those and walk in. Can I try? Or just okay. Well, you go up. You get to the constable. 
Tassimal's looking at you. You show him your scroll of pedigree, and he's like, uh, my lord, do you have your invitation? Choke him out. Uh, <laughs> I'm not killing him. Sorry, never mind. I'm trying to think of the words. Thorough. The, the invitation, the, yeah. he, he um, like points to one that has already been collected. Encyclopedia. Un unneeded. Um, can I hand him a gold piece? <laughs> You can. Right, that. Now, once you've done that bribe, I will give you advantage to your persuasion roll. Sweet. Which means you roll 2d20 and you get to take the higher of the two. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry if it's sweaty. It's so sweaty, actually. Five and six. It's nine. Yeah. All right, nine plus what? Uh, this is, what is this? Persuasion. Persuasion. Such a P. For 13. He's like, um, hmm. Let me see if I could find your invitation over here. I'll give him another one. No. <laughs> he takes the other one. He's like, here, yes, sir. That is your invitation. Thank you for coming. All right, so um, you go in wow. along with all the fancy guests. Wow. You get back to the building. Okay, I look for the guy. Hold on. Okay. You guys and Derek go to the back of the building. Yep. And you see one of the servants is there at the back door. And he's like, can I help you? You see he's like wearing a nice, like a white uh, shirt with white long sleeve. puppy sleeves. And he has like a vest on. Oh my God, they're white. He's like, Derek's like, yes, uh, we are the musical entertainment. I, of course, am Derek the Golden Throat. <laughs> and like, the guy's I'm like. I'm Rayloff, the flute player. The guy looks at his scroll and he's like, uh. He looks at you guys and he's like, "Okay, go ahead." Just, we're in, boys. <laughs> All right, so you guys, um, you guys go in. Sean, you get to the Reeves building. You yes. go around to the back as you were instructed. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see a guy at the back door, and he's wearing like a white shirt with long, puffy white sleeves and okay. That's what I'm looking a vest. For. You walk up. And he's like, "May I help you, sir?" Yes, I was uh, told to come here to build a statue. Uh, in your honor, sir. Specifically, from this guy's the Zeus <laughs> membership. Oh, ah, yes. He's like, uh, right this way, sir. Ah, thank he you. He opens the door for you. Okay. Okay. We're all in. So, <laughs> you guys are all inside of the main hall, and you see multiple tables with beautiful white uh, tablecloths and ornate chalices. Uh, like nice goblets, silverware, plates, everything set out. There are fancy people walking and mingling and talking. Um, Derek the Golden Throat points to the corner. He's like, that small stage is where we will be performing. So let us adjourn. So he goes up and he, he goes up there. He's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> just warming up. Hold <laughs> 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 well, no, I'm just kind of blowing into yeah. it. Just oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he has two hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's two hands. <laughs> and after warming up a bit, he's like, uh, let's begin with the, um, how about uh, the cleric's. My favorite uh, song. The <laughs> hymnal <laughs> of the fourth um, verse uh, to Ayuk. How about that? So, Carl, you're you worship you're God. actually familiar with this because it's a very uh, religious uh, oh, hymnal. Nice. So, um, due to your background, mm -hmm. so uh, he begins. Derek begins performing, and he's singing. Derek, success. Do you see that? It's an 18. It? Huge. He doesn't. Yeah. He, lie. he just him. starts like laying out this beautiful vocal oh part. God. Go ahead and roll, Carl. Oh my God, I'm totally gonna have this up. What if I don't have to. A one? <laughs> I don't have to add anything to this, right? It's just whatever. You have to add performance. Oh my God, wait. Carl I have plus five. Rocks. Nine plus five is fourteen. All right, Carl. Let's. That's okay enough. Like so, you're like kind of quietly accompanying him on flute, and he's he's basically taking the lead in the song due to his superior role. All right, okay. so um, you guys are in the corner performing. You walk in, you see them in the corner. Well, them standing kind of by the stage, just looking out at the crowd. Carl's performing. You see Derek the Golden Throat singing. Max, you come in from the like where rich people come in, and you like grab yourself a a goblet. There's like floating waiters coming by with. You know, serving like appetizers, basically like cold cuts and cheese and oh. glasses of like bottles right. of wine are flowing. 
not a single cup is empty. Like the minute a noble finishes their cup, there's somebody coming by. And all of the bottles that they're serving look like the really like nice expensive one. one that you bought. Mm. Like all of them look expensive. No, honey suck. Honey suck. No. So basically you guys have come into like the mingling part before before the banquet, before the feast begins. And there there you just you see many most most of the people seem like local nobles, but clearly there are also some nobles who came from Parmia for the wine festival. Yes. Is it red or white wine? It, they have both. Okay. Oh my yeah. gosh. One they have yeah. they have like flavored wines. Oh they have um, you see there you know there there are like different shades of reds. There's some like rosés. There's you know so there's a whole variety rose, of yeah. wines. And um, I'm in high school. <laughs> as things in are Andy. as things are proceeding. You guys, you know, kind of, you, you could basically get away without making any rolls. You can get away with like helping yourself to appetizers and, yeah, okay. and goblets of wine, Eat whatever you want. Uh, the banquet part hasn't started. I just want to. So or d'oeuvres, <gasps> or d'oeuvres. Does anybody want to do anything? <laughs> yeah, they they start bringing out like hors d'oeuvres, like little. Um, it's in a blanket. Yeah, like like. I don't want to quite say that, but like, you know, <laughs> like mini sauce, like smoked meats and, you know, different like so fruit, hungry. like little <laughs> fruit trays. So there's like fruit trays, that kind of stuff. Can okay. I snag like life, an empty tray yes. that just kind of load up as people pass by? You sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. cool. I'll do that. Okay. Well. All right. So you guys are there for a while. Does anybody want to do anything in specific other than just hang out and enjoy the free? I want to mix up the song. I feel like I have. Yeah. Well, you guys play like multiple songs. I like and to do one of my songs did, from my collection. Derek takes a, br a brief break and he's like, "We we have time for one more song before the feast begins, uh, and then we take a break during oh, the feast cool. because the reeve uh, does not like to have too much music during the feast, and then after the feast, of course, we'll continue our fantastic. Uh, so, would you like to to yeah. select a, a tune? It's called Toxic. Um, that's my. That's my decision. Yeah. yeah. Britney Spears. Just kind of sing along, however. Oh, it's the flute. TikTok. The flute <laughs> takes I over. TikTok. I see. Uh, if I you take the lead, that. I will find the harmony. My That's friend. all I'm looking for right there. Like all right. Electric flute. So, Carl, <laughs> um, you notice like people still talking and chatting and stuff, but you know you you kind of step forward on the stage. And I'd want before I start, even though it could end up horribly. I want to everyone listen yes. to uh, this is toxic by me, Rayloff Halfbeard, <laughs> the flute player. Um, please enjoy. So like, I want everyone's attention right now. I'm yelling, like screaming obnoxiously, actually. You actually get the attention of quite a few people. Like, maybe it was the slight pause in music and then you kind of like come up and announce, but like many people like turn with their drinks and their food and they, <laughs> mess they kind up. of like, <laughs> <laughs> they kind of start paying attention to you. Okay. Let's now Carl, that. before you roll, because you are new to the game, hey, I will the, remind you. Yeah, what's that, that thing? You, Extra dice. you have. Well, first of all, you're a bard. That's right. So you have bardic inspiration, oh, but you right. also have an inspiration point. I want everyone dancing. I want like. <laughs> you're toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Why of all the songs, Carl? Why? It's a good song. I think about, it's about all day. Up this is Africa by Toto. <laughs> It's too, it's too mainstream. <laughs> Smash right Mouth, All Star. Okay, so Carl, two mm -hmm. things. Bardic Inspiration will allow you to inspire other people, mm -hmm. and then they get that D6 bonus. But you had that inspiration point from the previous session for your amazing, uh, quick witted solution to the murder, ho murder hobo activity. So yeah. um, you can use that inspiration now if you want, or don't. It's up to you. What that would do is give you advantage on this performance check, I, which I, means you get the higher of the two d20s. In fear that I'm messing up, yeah, do that. Okay, so go ahead and roll both of those d20s. Maybe the yellow one first. And pick the higher of the two. Probably the 19, the but 19. You know, let's just <laughs> rock and roll for that 20. Yeah, a 5, so I think we're going to go with that 19. Okay, so good, good use move. of your inspiration. So, oh. Carl, you with your, what is it, plus 5 yep. to your performance? Yes. Good lord. So you you 24. you just begin to shred this song. You're just like, you just you're you're playing the flute. People are like, pe people are like genuinely like buying into it. Like, so, like people don't know whether to like dance or just like get into it. It's almost like creating a, a like a, a mojo. I and even even down. Derek the Golden Throated, like he doesn't even step on your your nuts. Like he's just he just stands. <laughs> and, he like steps back three feet and so just lets you rock out because he's Derek. like I can't even perform that good so I put down my food and I start dancing 
Okay. Start you dance, start dancing. Dance mob. And, Milo, dance. Um, start a conga line. Okay. We're dancing. Yeah, we start a conga line. <laughs> okay, legit make a performance roll. Oh. Okay. Even if you don't have it, I just want to know oh, how Oh, it's a do. bad one. 11. Plus? Hold Plus on. Plus four. Eight total. All right, so you guys kind of start getting dancing. into it. Yeah. And people don't necessarily conga line with you, but they like kind of get into it now that they see you loosening up. How do we get the Reeves' attention? You've got the Reeves' attention. Oh my god! So <laughs> you you see the Reeve. So the the Reeve is a uh, like a tall human man with like curly gray hair and a mustache, kind of like me if I had curly gray hair. Um, yeah, you're bald, so. And he's <laughs> and, and and like he's like holding a, a flagon of wine and just like smiling and like like just kind of like gently grooving out to the music and. A woman who, like who has been next to him the whole night. You you assume is like his wife, and she she's like commenting, and and he like nods, and other people like give him a thumbs up, and he's like. So uh, cool. you finish your song, Carl, and and people actually applaud, and yeah, as the applause actually. dies down a little bit, the reeve is like, "Let the feast begin!" and people applaud hype. again. And That's hype as hell. Good so <laughs> Derek comes up and he's like. My friend, that was one of the most rousing performances that I've had the pleasure to enjoy in, well, since my own performances. <laughs> Come, let's, uh, let's adjourn to the, the back room uh, during the feast. So you guys all go to the back room, and you see oh. other servants there, and they're, like, chowing down. And it basically looks like all, all the, like, leftovers of the food that weren't that good to serve. Not... Not like people ate them left Oh, God. Like, you know, when you cut, like, a turkey. Like, yeah. And, yeah, like, yeah. It's, so it's... The scraps. It's, it's good food, yeah. It's good food, it's, but it's, like, the scraps and, like, the fattier cuts of meat, that kind of stuff. So, hey, but all the is. servants are, like, chowing down and, like, talking and, you know, just kind of casual talk and stuff. Um, so you're the only person... At the real feast. ...at an actual table seat. Cool. Where um, am I? You're with the servants, Sean. You got in, but you're not dressed in the finer. Like you Come don't on. have the invite. You're also right. super okay. short. So. Yeah, you're my height. You're just there enough. I mean, there's other. There are other halflings Prestige and gnomes and dwarves height. and elves at the table, but is the table size for them, or are they just kind of like kind of like you know sitting what? at the table? Like Anna, that is a excellent question. There is legit another table for little people. Aww. Like the there's table. there's a table that has like table. most of the yeah, halflings and gnomes and, and stuff. So. That seems yes. like I would like, segregation. can I say something or do something? But or? ironically, the dwarves are not at the little people table because, you know, they... They don't like that. They, yeah, don't, like, they don't like being called that. Yeah. All right, okay. go So I, I'm in the back now. I'm going to be like, Derek, I'm going to step outside for a moment. Here's, here's what I'm going to do. You know what? I'm, I'm coming with you. He's, oh, he, packs <laughs> a pipe <laughs> there. He, he packs a pipe and he's like, it's I could use like a bit like really smoke. okay, Derek. I so, meant like outside, like towards the big banquet hall. We're not smoking in there. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh no, I thought you meant outside. No, was, you can go outside. I'd love to have a pipe after a meal, but uh, you can do that. I just I gotta go talk to someone in there real quick. Oh, uh, yes, Rayloff, that's not what happens. No, you, that's all right though. You see you that? Flip, that don't want to be the a person who goes. Out. The only people that go out there during the feast are the actual servers. Oh. Yes, you you. Oh, if I you're disregard not everything white you're saying. gloves <laughs> and one of their uniforms. You, you would not be very well received. And, mm. and I would hate for your prestigious performance to be tarnished by a social faux pas, as it were. Put on the server costume. I'll do it. That sounds like a lot of work. I just wanted to go get attention from the king. So I'm going to chill. I'm just going to, let's go yes, smoke. Yes. Let's go smoke a pipe. <laughs> so he, uh, he gets up and he you know, like goes out to the outside. And, like put, packs some tobacco into his pipe and he sparks it up. All right, what are you guys doing? You finish eating. You had a great feast. Like this is the best food you've had, like in weeks. Okay. Even though it's the scraps of rich people. Uh, I pull out my bottle of wine I bought earlier and start drinking that. Hey, there you go. What about you? Um, I'm just gonna chill with Anna. You can have some and of my wine. Yeah, I'll have some wine and wait for Carl to come back. Okay. So who am Ray I with Law. right now? Ray You're with all the servant people. Okay. You're with us. So I go up to one of the other servants. Yeah. And I ask him. So. Tell me about this Reeve guy. Uh, what's title? there to say, my friend? The uh, Reeve is, he's fair enough as far as Reeves go, I suppose. Uh, he pays fairly. Uh, he gives us some time off to be with our families. Um, uh, you know, the, the Reeve is an appointed position. 
But surely, everyone has to have a flaw. Well, not this guy. I would say he's <laughs> not the holiest of men, but um, the high priests seem to trust him with the administrative duties of local government. So, um, as I said, not the worst person. Hmm. I mean, look, we're getting this free food now, aren't we? That's not a bad thing to get. Yes, but we're getting only just the scraps. Well, that's how it is, my friend. We're, we're not nobles. We surely can't expect to receive the same goods that they have paid for with their service to the to the greater good of Kabul, Kabul Kailish. But why can't we be nobles? I mean, like, we're at the same town. My gnomish friend, you have curious ideas. <laughs> yes. He's so uncomfortable. Look what you're doing to him. You're going to get yourself kicked out. I go over <laughs> to that guy, and I'm like, you heard about God? <laughs> Wait, you have, a, you have that thing where you don't talk? <laughs> they cut your tongue out. Okay, actually, um, hold on. I don't know any sign language, so it's just. Make it up. The old man seems even more <laughs> confused, <laughs> confused, not confused sign language. and scared. That's not real. Bewildered. <laughs> <laughs> the only sign language I know is he, I don't know sign language. He's like. <laughs> Yes, well, uh, excuse me, I must relieve myself. What is wrong with us? This is embarrassing. <laughs> this is why none of you are in the banquet hall. After, <laughs> uh, so, Matt, yeah. you combat. are in the banquet hall. Yes. And you are hearing some very interesting conversations. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, the majority of nobles throughout the kingdom are here. Mm -hmm. um, you see several of the high priests that are part of the theocracy. Um, who have come all the way from the capital. You also see several of the noble families um, from this area, from Dariolar Shari. Uh, and you see several, uh, appears to be foreigners. They, they in, and you would know this from your noble lineage. Like it's, it, in essence, it's a little bit of heraldry, a little bit of history, but it's, it's pretty common sense because they're wearing different emblems of houses from Parmia. So, and you know that be, because Parmia is, because it's like Kabul Kailash, it's another theocracy, they also have their own hierarchy. Um, and they seem to have sent several high priestesses. Uh, and in fact, they're, the, the ones that they sent are elves. Cool. I totally missed all of that. I had heard it all, but trying to figure out what to do with it. So most of the talk is pretty mundane. It's, you know, just, it's about trade, it's about government, it's about, you know, kind of questions of philosophy. Um, you know, the, the there's discussion about how to best venerate the different gods and, you know, in what season, season should we really be celebrating, um, you know, the, the, the different gods, that sort of thing. So it's, it's kind of... I don't want to say boring, it's but it's boring. nothing particularly that catches your your ears I about the kind of conversation. Be and just sit and listen for a while until yeah. there's an excuse to leave. There's like brief conversations about you know economic things too, like well our our yield from the last harvest was very blessed. We you know and that kind of stuff and like and that's where the bread. Some stuff. of the Parmians are talking about like their their you know they've been very fortunate uh, that Ayuk has guided them towards new uh, silver veins in the mountains for them to mine. And, you know, so they, whatever it is, they always kind of tie it back to the blessings of the gods, you know, whether it's uh, agricultural prosperity or other forms of economic prosperity and that kind of stuff. So it, it's relatively mundane though. Nothing, nothing juicy pops out. Yeah, it's not like you're at the table and they're like, so how should we kill the king? <laughs> uh, nothing like that. So Let's start that conversation. But I will say that your two gold bribe was worth it because you are dining on like the finest food. Like awesome. there's just succulent like seafood and like the finest cuts of beef and like pork and just everything. There's all sorts of stuff. And then like when most of the normal people are full, they bring out like the the fifth wave of food and it's it's like a dessert buffet of insanity and like a lot of the other people are like oh 
bless you, my Reeve, but I am far too full. And you're like, ha! Like, <laughs> so you, uh, on the table. yeah, you, you, you enjoy like the finest food and, and awesome. as much food and wine as you mm. desire. As much as I can find. So towards the end of that, uh, one of the servers, the white gloved servers, comes into the back room and they're like, performers, the feast is over. All right. Come on. Yeah, I'm coming. So um, Derek comes out with you and, uh, you know, you see people getting up from the tables, servers are clearing the tables and people are getting up and mingling again. And so oh. Derek begins to perform and he starts singing a, a lullaby, 19. Derek's a pimp, dude. So Derek just starts like <laughs> belting out like a lively after dinner song and he like looks over at you like waiting for you to start jamming out with him. Uh oh, a 16. Hey, that's pretty good, Klaus. Plus five. It's like your best roll. So nope, that's not. Yep, plus you five. Just, you just start rocking out. You and Derek are playing some like lively, more like modern, festive music, and he's singing songs about, you know, the greatness of, of the festival and the joyousness of people, blah, blah, blah. So you guys are also done eating. You guys kind of come out, and when you come out from the back room, you see Matt like at the table and he seems to be engaged in some conversation with one of the nobles and some noble walks up to you and he's like sir what house uh, are you from and you you talk about your your family's background and your father's like ah yes your father is one of the shrewdest businessmen that i know his his ships are well renowned for their reliability and mm. and uh if i'm not mistaken they have uh, among the highest records for uh, avoiding piracy as well that's <laughs> Uh, not not a trait to be overlooked for sh for sure in these days. Uh, yes, and how is your father's trade? Blah 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 blah. Murmur murmur blah blah blah. So, does anyone else want to do anything at the post feast part of the banquet? Yes and yes. I would like to go back into where I was. Yeah. And take my sleight of hand. Yes. And change into a serving outfit. Um, I'm going to say that, okay, you don't even need to roll sleight of hand. Okay. But the problem is, is that all the serving outfits are big people sized. <laughs> Rip. We need to serve. <laughs> Can I, I here to serve you? <laughs> Can I use my saw and my tinker feature <laughs> and shorten it? I mean, Sean, you could, but that's really the tailor. You're a carpenter. You're not a tailor. It would look like somebody saw it close <laughs> in half, and that would be. Can I just hit the white gloves or no? Yeah, fine. All right. I have the white gloves. You like just hike them up on your little <laughs> yeah. hand, so it's like okay. a kid wearing a dad glove. Oh. Okay, cool. All right. That's just cute. That's yeah. what you want to smile. Do. Take as many desserts as I can before they get them away. All right, you're like a bag lady with all of your. <laughs> Your, I'm gonna like, like hike up my robe and like start putting it. In. No one can question her because she can't answer. She's okay. a yeah. pirate. All right. I'm a, I'm a woman of God, right? Now. Yeah, you pretty easily smuggle a whole bunch of food. I have a question for yes. Derek. Do you have any other instruments by chance? You know, like you're a big musician guy. Do you know of any instruments that I could pick so up? So in a, in a break between songs, he he's like, "Well, I play the mandolin." Damn it! Never mind. But I usually let my voice do the talking. Yeah, I know, Derek. <laughs> so, um, so you guys continue playing. Um, more like brand new bottles of wine come out, <gasps> and they're, they seem to be them. all from, you know, the 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 finest reserve. The Reeves spared no expense. Everybody's enjoying um, after after feast wine, and um, and and the the servers are pretty much exclusively serving only the nobles. Like you guys are, they just like kind of walk by you. Can I just kind of reach out and grab a bottle? You could try to sleight of hand one. Oh, hold on, let me check. Nope. I hate there. <laughs> I love the fact that I'm gonna do know. something. Okay. So can you All right. That's fun. I am going to sleight of hand a bottle. Go ahead. No. <laughs> I will use. Yeah, no. No. Sleight right. of hand a bottle. So, you notice the server like set down a tray of new bottles Wait, actually, and I'm uncork one and begin pouring it out. And while he's not looking, you see those bottles are unattended. I want one of the empty bottles of the fancy wine. Get one of the full ones. Okay. Why do you want an empty There one? are full ones right there, but okay. okay. Can I just Get both. I want yeah. empty ones. Okay. Roll. Side of hand. Roll. 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 Hey, look at that. All What's right, your bonus? Hand. Plus eight. Okay. 18. Oh 18. Gosh. Easily. You're like. All right. 
Here we go. Okay. You're going to put the cheap wine into the fancy wine no. bottle. So okay. it's white wine and red wine, right? Yes. I have kerosene. Yes. That looks like white wine. White wine. Yes. How does he know? I put the kerosene into the fancy bottle. Yes. And since I have a white glove, yes. I come <laughs> behind the wreath. Yes. Oh my God. And I pour him a glass of kerosene <laughs> into his wine challenge. Sean, you first, you will make a stealth roll. <laughs> okay. Why? Has he done this before in real life? Yeah, it was. Right. This is so stupid. Just D20. Yeah. I thought yeah. he was going to do a Molotov Ten cocktail. Plus. Stealth, six, 16. Okay. All right, well, so okay. <laughs> while the server's not looking and the Reeve is not looking, now you're going to pour <laughs> that bottle. Because all I see is a white glove in front of him. Yes, okay. Yeah. So now you're gonna make a another sleight of hand roll. <laughs> the arm comes up from like low in the 20. Oh my God, he rolled a nat 20. <laughs> nat 20! All right, so, <laughs> so the Reeve and the waiter do not notice. <laughs> You, you successfully pour it into the glass. What do you do? Uh, I say, so, so where am I right now? Like, am I you're like literally this else? close to the Reeve, except he's not looking at you because you're this tall. Okay. I signal to these guys, like, yeah. let's skedaddle. Skedaddle, okay. skedoodle. So just at that moment, <laughs> the Reeve like, turns from the conversation he was having and like drinks his glass. And, and there's like a she moment where his noticing. face, no, he doesn't down it. He just takes a, a sip and there's like a moment where his brain's processing what happens and then he just chokes and he like shoots kerosene out of his mouth. And he's like choking. And then he, actually I'm gonna have him make a constitution roll. He throws off. And like in choking on the kerosene, he just barfs and like all these, there's like this commotion and all these people are like, oh, oh my, oh the reef. And like, People like kind of move out of the way while he throws up, and one of the waiters is like, "I, I sir, I don't know I, about." And like, are you just standing there laughing? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, like, like is he, I'm just seeing if he's gonna like die. He's not dying. Oh, Carl starts playing the Welcome song that they played show. in the yeah. Titanic. He, he was like choking on it, and then My he threw up, and now he's just kind of like on all fours, calling. like coughing yeah. and like hacking like up. Toxic. <laughs> Do you continue playing music? No. Uh, While this happens, or do you just like so everyone's distracted right now? Stop. Yeah. Steal everything. Everyone's Maybe. kind of distracted, like looking at the Reeve in concern, and people are like we clamoring have, we around can steal to see so if he's much. okay. okay uh, we could just take like all the stuff. I shove Milo like towards the door, and we're gonna we're booking it. We're gonna kill Derek. We're getting out of the main <laughs> hall. I mean, I'm gonna grab a, a bottle of wine on my way out, but I'm gonna go see what's in the rest of the building. Are we just exploring this big old building now? I don't I know. Guess. I'm getting out of the room where like people, where like Close a guy up. just got nearly poisoned. We also have an appointment with the elf dude in like 20 minutes, so let's be quick, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just pissed off like the most important people in town. We should probably just go What do you do? The let's, go on, let's go into uh, the Reeves' house. <laughs> All right, there's a stairwell. <laughs> you could go wife? up to the second floor. Helping okay. him stop the choke. Do you all of you guys go yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't split up. Can I split up? I pick Milo up. I'll be like, okay. So Everybody make a stealth roll. I want to see if you Wait, go you up the thing unobtrusively. <laughs> Ten. Plus eight. Six, Sixteen. Thirteen. Eight in total. Two plus four, I got Fourteen. six. Eight. I have stealth, thirteen. Right? Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seventeen. We're a mess. So, seventeen, sixteen, eight. Can I get eight, Milo an six, assist if I carry her? Six. What time is it? Uh, 248. Okay. So, here's what happens. You guys start making your way up the stairs while this clamor of people is surrounding the reef. Yes. And um, you make your way upstairs and you get to the second floor and there's a long hallway and there's a door to each of the big rooms down this hallway and then another stairwell to the third floor. The doors are closed. Check if they're locked. Okay, okay. You, you walk up to the first door and um, Kind of slowly turn the handle. It doesn't seem to be locked. Go inside. Take, take a look inside. Don't go inside yet because it's like kind of look. Open the door and look through. Okay. So the first door seems to be the Reeves' office. Like there's a finely appointed wooden desk. There are shelves full of like books. <laughs> um, there are several uh, lanterns and candelabras for light. There's like a comfortable basically like a couch and a reading chair and kind of like a another coffee table where it looks like maybe he has meetings with people. Does he have like 
papers and documents. There's paper and documents all over his desk. I'm gonna take all of them. Where are you putting them? <laughs> Do I have a bag? You There's have a backpack. His sure. Pockets. I'll put it like in, like fold it up in the very bottom of the bag. Okay. Like so all the stuff's on top of it. Okay. It's quite a fair amount of stuff. There, I mean, there are several scrolls. There are a few books. Anything look? Particular There's a ledger. Does like anything a, look like important? More important than all of it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> take it. All. I mean, yeah, I'll take it all. Okay. All right. So you start shoving that stuff. What do you guys do? Anything worth stealing? Yeah. Oh yeah. There's Everything. there's like household goods. There's like little statues. There's like a silver. Um, there, there's basically like a, a little Except silver, fire. effectively ashtray, and there's like a uh, ivory pipe, and there's Take like a, a box for tobacco. Taking all um, of that with me. There's a ink. Uh, there, there's a inkwell and a quill. Was there any like matches or like things that start fires? Well, I said there's there's <laughs> candles. There's candles? a tinder box. Okay. I'm going to go over to that stuff and take them. Okay. Yeah. Can I use my I would like to light stuff on. Artificer's <laughs> loom, lure, what did I write down? Yeah. Uh, lore. I know that I to see if, if there's burn anything it. in there that has true. like to burn it down. an important history to it that I need. I can help you make a Uh, Sure. Make a roll. What do I say? D20? Yeah. Five. With... What do I do? Stealth? What? what? No, investigation? History. Yeah, investigation. History. So, well, 5, 10? No, there's nothing in there. But I got 4 proficiency bonus, so... Okay, so what's the total? 14? I'm so bad at math. 24. Sean! <laughs> Where am I at right now in numbers? <laughs> you gotta say damn it, Sean. I'm gonna so just tell you that no matter what so number of bonus, mm -hmm. this 5 is not gonna be high enough to find anything that you would find remotely useful. What about this 15? Okay, uh, fine. That was, that was a pretty good sleight of hand. I'd like to set the drapes oh, can on fire. I roll for a sleight of hand for that? <laughs> all right, all right. Hand the you, you start, <laughs> and you actually get them to ignite. Yeah. Okay, the what do you guys do? The drapes are on fire. Why? Why? I don't know. Wait, I'm one, of, one of them on top of the dust. I don't know. I feel we like, I feel no, like if, we if could do something. If the dust is on fire, those, then they won't notice the dust. What are you guys doing? I didn't think about it. I'm taking the ashtray and pipe into the back. Should I just leave? Okay, write it down. Oh, cool. All right, oh. so you I'll go out the door. Can I just book it? It's on fire. Yeah, you're on the second floor. So you're going to go back down the stairs into the main level where uh, everybody was? Uh, no, we go to the third floor. We keep exploring, <laughs> and then when we need to Wait, get out, it's feather on fall. Fire. Carl, can you Carl can feather fall. How fire. are you going to get back feather up? Feather fall out of the building. You can, this is not you Minecraft. Can't, you can't no, yes, I have feather fall <laughs> in okay, this game. Okay, but can you feather fall with people? Yes. With all of us at yes. once? I can. I can. What if you roll a two? How? <laughs> if you roll a two, we all die. <laughs> we can just trust me. Trust me. Are we okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> you can do feather <laughs> fall, but I'll use Elder Blast. Because hear me out, right? We go upstairs third floor. Okay. We check it out. We take what we can. All the rich people are going to burn down with the upper class. We jump off the what building. What do you mean burn? We're on a taller floor than them. They're on the ground. It's all going to collapse. We're gonna collapse. Gonna collapse. We're gonna collapse. We're gonna the building will collapse. I'll be the last one to upper class. Okay, so he'll be holding on to us with feather fall, person. but I'll shoot Elders <laughs> Blast behind us to propel us forward. Can you just I blast the, the fire away so we can just ignore no. this whole problem? <laughs> after this, no. It's not a problem, it's an opportunity. A roll to cancel. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you better the grapes not. are burning. Great. <laughs> I just dropped my die. Here, you can just borrow I'm not going to say it, Heather, but you know what I'm thinking. I know what you're thinking. I'll Damn get it, it Heather. Later. I'll get it later. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Laugh track. Laugh <laughs> track. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, <laughs> so you go out in the hallway. You yeah. see down the hallway is another door to another room, and then a flight of stairs up to the third floor. Okay, so we go. So you guys go? Yeah, we're booking out to the third floor. Yeah, we'll yeah, just skip the other so. door? Okay. So you, at this you point, go to the third floor. It's on fire. You go up the stairs. Is like the fire catching, or is it just the drapes? Uh, I mean, it's a fire. It's catching on other things. It's full of like legal documents. Don't you're gonna take them? No, no, no. I took them. Uh, we're we're hiding the evidence. They might be that. important. You guys, get up to the third floor, and you People see two more them. doors, two more bedrooms. We go in the first oh. bedroom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, it right. is a bedroom, Can and it looks like one? maybe the Reeves' bedroom and his wife's bedroom. There's a uh, nice four-poster bed in there. There's several dressers. There, there is a what are those lady desks called? You know, yeah, like that's not an armor. Vanity, Do, yes, vanity. vanity. It's like a vanity with like a mirror. By the way, mirrors are very expensive. Ooh, I take the mirror. Uh, it's <laughs> it's not like a mirror, dude. It's like a giant. <laughs> it's like bigger than you. Right. Okay, I say right. maximum. Can I use Max my Max carpentry <laughs> background? Yeah. And <laughs> my thieves' tools and thieves. Yes. 
stuff to see if there's any hidden compartments. Absolutely. In his like dresser and stuff. Yes, I'll give you advantage. Should I check that before we look. That's one. Two. Yeah, Good thing I I'm giving you advantage. <laughs> Good thing you said roll that. a second time. Seventeen. Okay, there you go. So you start going through the dresser. You're so close to a seven. First of all, the dresser is like full of like nice clothes, like silk shirts, all these Ooh. different things. And then I want a new outfit. Yeah, and and the lady has an armoire with like nice clothes. Okay, I'm grabbing outfits. Okay, so you start robbing their clothes. <laughs> you on the very guys. bottom of the dresser, yeah. you see that there's a false back. <laughs> mm -hmm. and you're I like, going hey, to, but and like you kind of like carefully <laughs> nudge it open, and inside that false I'm back a is this a is wooden box. I take it with a lock on it. I take it. Okay. I could bust that. Oh, all right. It. Anybody else searching anything else? There's uh, a nightstand. Uh, there's we're four taking new clothes. We're new clothes. We're getting. I don't clothes. have any nice clothes. Okay. I'll check the other room. Does we have like a sewing kit? Um, I like to punch the mirror. You don't see a sewing um, kit. I don't know. Let's yeah. You're guessing stuff. that they're rich enough to just either. hire tailors to do all of their any sewing. Any scissors? Anything? No. No. Okay. Um, okay. We'll we'll I'd like to we'll go get, in the other we'll room. Yeah, there two. There's a second room. Okay. Do you guys really want to take clothes of the most important person in town? And it looks like another bedroom. Probably knows. But it looks more like a guest bedroom because there's no clothes in the dressers or in the armoire. Okay. All the furnishings there, but it looks very made up, as if it was like a guest bedroom. Oh wait. Set another. F no, we won't. No fire. Uh, <laughs> cool on the fire. You do <laughs> notice that there's a trap door in the ceiling of the guest bedroom. Yeah, we'd like to. I'd like to investigate, investigate that. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a ladder? I can jump. He can get me on your shoulders. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. That. All right. So you get him on your shoulders. <laughs> you you push on. You you kind of turn the wooden lever mm -hmm. and you push open the trap door and it looks like it goes up into like a storage attic area. Yeah, we. I'll enter that. Is there a ladder up cool. there that you can climb on up? Is there a ladder in there? No. Like a You're using him like a ladder. All right, so it's just no, me. Is there a ladder up there that you can drop down? You look, there isn't. I'm, I'm not strong enough to pick you up, so I'll explore this place. Right. That's fine. Okay. I'll just rejoin them then. You get up there. Mm -hmm. um, you see that, that there's, it basically is a storage attic. Okay. There's a lot of old furniture up there. Um, you notice a few crates, like, Wooden crates oh, and some let's, old chests and stuff. Let's open up some of that stuff. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna be doing that. You guys like raid the closet and take anything yeah. you want. Does she have any makeup? There's there is makeup and there's jewelry. So I want to take some of that too. Are you taking it? I'll yeah. Take and I want to start like. doing Maximilian's makeup while we wait for Wrong. Carl. What? He's not in the same room. <laughs> there's a fire. I want to go to look at <laughs> There's a fire. We need to go. <laughs> Are you done <laughs> searching? Can I search oh, again, or do I is there roll? nothing left? No, I'm just rolling. You, oh. What do you want to search? <laughs> yeah, there's a four-poster bed, there's a dresser, there's an armoire, um, a van, uh, ladies' makeup well. station vanity thing. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I'll search the woman's vanity Bad makeup okay. thing. You find a I'm bunch of jewelry, like necklaces, rings. Not rolling? No, you don't need to roll. It's all there. Okay. <laughs> Can I roll for like a secret compartment? Sure. 14. There are no secrets. Great. So you're very confident okay. with your expertise. Okay. I guess Did you write down everything that you said you took? Oh. If you don't have it written down, you don't have it. Where do I write it? Equipment? Remember, we yeah. have video proof of what happened. Makeup. I, yeah, let's open up some of these Venus chests. Okay. Okay. And jewelry. Uh, yeah, you wake open up, up the first chest. Clothes, uh, There's perfumes. a whole bunch of like oh, old, yeah. perfume. nice uh, clothes, but Beast they're Center. kind of dated. Perfume. Like uh, they look kind of like fancy. Like, it would be like if you found, like, your parents' clothes from the 80s, basically. Uh, like, they're very nice, but they're very dated. None of that. We, um, you open <laughs> yes, up another one, and there's just tons of silver coins. Oh, my God. I like, take it. more than you could possibly carry. As how much can I carry? Right, Drop the you, chest. I'm gonna actually going to pour it down. Eight? I, eight. I'm going to pour as much as I can down the opening uh, no, so that everyone try can. and push the chest. Well, okay, fine. I guess so push I the chest into the room well, so that everyone can get up. Okay. pick so up as much as possible. So you close the chest and you slide it across the floor until it gets to the trap door. Yeah. You see him up in the trap door and you're like, "What'd you find?" And he's like, <laughs> a "Chest full of silver." <laughs> I crush him with. Where is it? And you're like, "Where is it?" Where is it? <laughs> so, how do you exactly do slide this hand down. me down? Because if you don't do it right, you're Very gonna careful. make a roll to take damage from a chest falling right, on your face. You ready for this? Okay. I pick up small handfuls and just kind of like throw it at him, All right, it's and then he picks it up from the ground. Him. Yeah. Um, uh, what's your intelligence? Oh, well, okay, um, you immediately 13. realize that this is Carl's worst plan ever. <laughs> wait, and can I grab the sheets off the bed and make a like use it to make a sack? Yes, any plan would be better than the one Carl's <laughs> currently conducting. You're just Carl. going. Yeah. 
<laughs> so you guys go down the hall I'll and put you, that down you see, um, yeah. <laughs> like, what that? You see what the hell is going like, on? Looking up at a trap door and <laughs> silver coins are raining we down on it. We booked it to there. We got to take help okay. them take it. So Grab a how long are you guys doing this for? Until it's shut We should because there's a fire. We should you guys hear people from below like fire, fire, someone come to a fire. Okay, so I like shout up at Rayla. I'm like. Dude, we gotta go! It's on yeah. fire! How but there's so much money! Right? How much silver's less in the just chest? Because at this point, he could just drop it and I could probably catch it. If he's been throwing coins. Okay, do we want to wait, like, risk our lives over the silver? Yes. I'll take the L. <laughs> I am poor. We'll take a bit more. How much money do we have in the chest? You have 400 as as silver pieces in the chest. That's 40 gold, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I'll take it. And yeah, leave. yeah, I'll put, I'm gonna push that the rest of the chest <laughs> onto. Uh, Maximilian. Just Can you make, warn make me, an please? athletics oh check, God. please, oh, okay. just to catch the chest and not have it fall on your head. That was uh, a seven, seven plus, plus six, 13. Okay, you're fine. He, it, he like pushes it over and you're like, oh, huh, and you like grab it right before it clobbers you. Uh, so now you have a big chest. Nice. You guys have like literally every pouch and bag that you have full of clothes, yeah. makeup, and, and, and my jewelry, and yeah. silver yeah. box. And, and oh, hold on. Let's, yeah, so yeah, now what? So, oh, uh, feather fall. Us. Feather fall. Is there There's a window at the end of yes, this? Yes, there is. Right there. I'll uh, bust it I'll open. Bust open that There's, window. It's open. Uh, There's um, wooden shutters. So we're on a third floor building right now, yeah. right? Um, you uh, look out the window. You see like people like running out of the building. There's smoke coming out of the window okay. from the room below you guys, and like you see like people running over with buckets of water and going into the house. Now okay. what do you do? Okay, guys. Fall out of <laughs> listen, I know this sounds made up, but we can jump out of this window and no one will die. So just Probably. everyone hold hands. Okay. Wait, wait. Everyone hold hands and we're going to jump out together. Wait, I'll, just I'm, trust me. Is there I want to be at the end of the chain because I do want to face backwards and Eldritch Blast as we jump so it propels us forward. It, that might screw us up. I don't want to say anything. Go ahead. I don't trust no, that. No, he, no, no, no. no, no, no. Don't trust we're in a circle. Yeah. We're in a no. circle. It's like a prayer circle. So everyone, come here. Yeah, Shine give me your hand. <laughs> okay, everyone. We're going to jump out this window. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Feather fall. I roll a feather fall. Do we make it? Do I get a roll now? I don't know how You don't have to roll. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to roll I think instantly. We made it. Do we even have to do that hold hands thing? <laughs> you, I mean, kind of. It has to be within range, but you didn't need to hold hands. All right. So all of you just like float down. It's the weirdest feeling wow. because none of you have experienced it before except Carl. And you guys float down to the ground. Now, here's what I have to do I have to roll 3d20. Why? To see if anybody on the ground notices <laughs> five oh people God. falling out of a window during a fire in slow Can motion. I use my <laughs> slide of hand? If any of these How three, would you steal? if any of these three is over a twelve, that means that someone's noticed you. No, okay. no. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 this is why I don't. This is one reason why I don't use a DM screen. I could have used the screen, but then you wouldn't have known how incredibly low I rolled. And I said before on video, if any were over 12, I rolled a one, a two, and a five. <laughs> so apparently, really the majority of people in the crowd. It's the dice tray box. Are, it's the, <laughs> it must be. It's the Sean, or it the Sean Robinson it's dice, the dice Sean tray Robinson box. It's the Sean dice rolling system. It's more than just a tray. Um, I just thought about it and it just happened. Yeah. So basically, what happened is everybody's so damn busy trying to like get out of the building and run into the building with buckets of water to put out the fire <laughs> that they don't notice five people floating down okay. to the ground. You make it down to ground level, and then what do you do? Are we Run. inside or outside the fence? You're outside. You're like literally see right Derek here. in the crowd. <laughs> just floated Derek out. Derek. Can we no, run? We need like three three right now. Yeah, the crowd's over there. So what do you do? Let's we just book it. We yeah, we need to book it. Book it. Okay. Let's get book to it. the what the rusty flagon yeah, where our guys waiting for us. Let's go to the flagon because we can go in. The flagon or the hearty oak is where you were supposed to be. Hearty oak, hearty oak, hearty oak. We have like stuff and coins. Yeah, I was gonna say if we go to we go to a bar with a chest and like we can rent a room. We have to go to the inn. We have to go to the inn. Go to the inn. Wait, 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 wait. Guys, I have a friend There are other inns in other neighborhoods. This is one neighborhood. We get out of this neighborhood. Yeah, let's get out. Okay, we're gonna get out of the neighborhood and then come back later to meet with Yeah, We need someone to drop this. Okay. With that, we will conclude episode two. Oh my god, that was a mess. Where I have come to realize now that it's good that you guys didn't choose alignment because basically you're all evil so far. <laughs> and a bunch of murder hobos and stealing, you know. It's worked Everyone out, wanted though. criminal. But we're a family. This is a yeah. character for me. So that's the direction this is going in. Thanks for watching and tune in for the next episode where we'll find out what they're going to do with a bunch of makeup, clothes, and silver coins.